Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, uh, welcome to um, Abnormal Psychology, and this is uh, week number eight. Uh, I wanted to uh, give you a couple of pointers from your mood disorder assignments. Uh, the first thing I noticed is that uh, many of you had excellent observations and content. The grades were very high on the mood disorder assignment, but I did notice that um, some of you had problems with APA style. Uh, I know that a lot of you, this is your uh, first time taking a um, class that uh, uses APA style, so I uploaded in your response from me a uh, APA style template. Uh, the main important thing that to, to know or to realize about the difference between um, MLA and APA is that APA style formatting does require that you utilize a cover page. Um, it doesn't just have the little corner with your uh, information on it. It also has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion, uh, and then a reference page uh, at the end. You should use uh, citations, in-text citations, and if you have any questions about how that works, then I would definitely uh, do a review of the Purdue OWL, uh, which gives some excellent uh, uh, pointers on in-text citation quotation and being able to make sure that uh, you're giving appropriate uh, citation for the works that you are um, using as references or that you're adequately uh, sourcing, citing your sources in your papers. So be sure and uh, go back through your final paper and make sure that you have done that uh, with your final paper. Uh, the template was attached to uh, those of you who were pretty far off from APA style, I did attach the template there. Okay, so for your uh, final exam, uh, we are looking at, I'm sorry, for exam number three, I am going to um, look at the agenda real quick. And basically, uh, this week, week number eight, uh, which is going to be uh, July 23rd through the 29th, uh, you have chapters 10 and 12 to review. Uh, you have uh, the exam, which is 9, 10, 11, and 12, uh, which includes substance abuse, uh, eating disorders, uh, personality disorders, and sexual disorders. Um, the substance abuse report is due, uh, and then also you have discussion boards from 9, 11, and 12, which were 9 and 11 were due last week and 12 are due this week. I have graded everything up to week number six, uh, so all of those grades, uh, including your uh, mood disorder assignment and the exam number two, have all been graded. The only things that are left to be graded are the uh, items from week 7 to 10. Uh, your paper is due um, on the 5th. By the 5th, um, by the end of that week there, uh, which is week number 9, um, your role play video should be uploaded and your paper due by the 5th. Um, I will not accept late papers in this course because grades for this class are due on the 8th, um, since it is a summer session. So you will need to have your papers in by the 5th, and then also your final exam you'll have uh, from the 6th to the 8th, Wednesday the 8th, to get the final exam done. And the final exam will be cumulative. It will include 14, 15, and 16, um, and also have um, some uh, previous questions from the previous chapters, which I will post a, another uh, lecture like this when we get closer to the final exam covering uh, just to give you an idea of what you need to have ready for the uh, final exam, okay? Um, looking at exam number three, if I can get it to open here, one second. Oh, here it is. Okay. Looking at exam number three. Okay, so um, for exam number three, what you've got is you have
44 questions. Um, it looks like on this exam you're going to be around um, 30 multiple choice questions. Uh, it looks like it's around 10 fill in the blank questions and then uh, four essay questions. Um, I will say on your essay questions, I do not want to see copying and pasting from the internet. Uh, just so that you know, if you copy and paste something from a web browser, it will mark it as such in the test and I can see when something has just been copied and pasted from the internet. Um, and I'm not going to give credit on this this exam or the final on the essay questions if you've just copied and pasted something from the internet. Um, and it does show me when something is uh, copied and pasted from the internet in these tests. So I really want this to be in your own words. When you answer these essay questions, I want it to be in your own words. If you do uh, pull from the book, which many of you did on this last exam, um, that's fine to pull from the book, but don't uh, respond in the test word for word, pit it in your own words um, as you um, have reviewed and synthesized the information. And that's what uh, we should always be doing when we're working from a learning perspective. Okay, so on your multiple choices, uh, there are uh, parts of it that talk about disassociative identity disorder. There are parts of it that talk about uh, drug, drug treatment, types of uh, uh, the types of um, medications that are most commonly used in drug treatment. Uh, anyone who's taking this class who's going to be going on to take the LCDC exam, a lot of these questions are questions that are similar to that of the uh, questions that are going to be on the LCDC exam. So uh, just. Uh, a pointer there, a lot of this that you're going to see are things uh, that have to do with uh, different uh, types of terminology of drugs. Uh, we want to have a good working definition of uh, schizoid personality disorder, the different eating disorders, and have a good enough working knowledge, uh, an outline or notes that we can answer questions about that. Um, we also, uh, the majority of these questions are about uh, substance abuse, uh, some about um, sexual disorders, there's a, talking about the different uh, types of symptoms within sexual disorders, also um, looking at the different types of treatments or therapies that are best, uh, the most evidence-based practices for these type of uh, disorders uh, that we're covering from these past four chapters. Um, the fill in the blank uh, is uh, going to have to do with um, different uh, types of within the personality disorders. You know the different types of personality disorders. You especially need to know and be able to uh, define the different clusters within the personality disorders of A, B, and C. And then also you need to be able to know the difference between uh, substance abuse, substance dependence, and also a different uh, schizoid personality disorder from other um, uh, personality disorders. Uh, that does it. Um, I, I definitely think that um, on this uh, you do not have any um, extra credit points on this exam, so don't be expecting that um, uh, since your papers are uh, should be primarily done. I'm not going to be asking you any uh, uh, questions or there will not be a bonus on this. The total test uh, point-wise is worth 10 points, so um, out of 4 to 44 points it's about a point, a 0 0.2 per question on all of the uh, uh, questions, so uh, the uh, essay questions are 0 0.5 so they are worth a little bit more and there are the four essay questions so um, be sure and have some notes uh, from each of the chapter um, do not depend on trying to just go through the book and uh, and flip through pages to get your answers because uh, that uh, uh, as many times uh, I think students try and do does not allow you enough time to uh, find uh, what you're looking for. So uh, do an outline on each chapter. That's what I recommend. And then use that outline to try and process the information. Uh, I will be posting a um, uh, final review um, in, in week number nine. I'll have a review for the final. Uh, and uh, please make sure that you have your final papers and your videos uploaded 
and uh, in the discussion board. Um, have your videos uploaded and in the discussion board for your final role play, which should be on the topic that you were assigned at the beginning of the semester. And alongside that, uh, role play video should be your final paper. If you have any questions, be sure and send me an email.